Hey everybody, it's uh, Friday morning and I uh, don't have a video this week because you know we're not traveling. We're still uh, kind of social distancing and we're actually going to be staying with a, a relative this weekend. But So we're going to do another recipe. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a one skillet breakfast. I've already started putting it. It's going to have bacon some hash brown potatoes and an egg. Um, what I do, oh, by the way, new apron, wife's happy, <laughs> no grease on clothes. I've taken some bacon and I've cut it about one to two inch pieces and put it, and I'm gonna fry that bacon up till it's almost done, or probably 90%. And, uh, and then I'll show you what I do after that. So give me a minute here, I'll get this bacon cooking and then we'll uh, come back and do the next step. There we go. Mm. I can do a Homer Simpson mm, bacon. I can do a sling blade. Something's gonna fall. It just might. You never know. He said, I'd take some of that bacon. That smells really good. Smelling good. Okay, so we've cooked we're cooking the bacon and as you can see careful. We got it just about most of the way cooked. Now this is where you can dump off some of the grease. And you notice we use Crisco. I like Crisco. <laughs> so I saved the containers and they make a great place to get rid of some of your best grease. Because now what we're gonna do is you want to leave the bacon just almost with a little bit of the fat render. Now this is where you got to be really, really careful. We use these O'Brien stuff, they're frozen. So now we're going to put some in here and we're going to use the grease in there. And you got a little bit of moisture so you have to be careful. And then uh, get these, we're going to get these all browned up. In here. Give those a couple seconds. Well, it's gonna take a couple minutes actually. Set my extra bacon grease over there. So you want to leave enough bacon grease to fry that up, but you don't want to get it too much so that it's just totally saturated in bacon grease. Although that's not a bad thing either. So. <laughs> and by the way, the disclaimer on this breakfast is, is not for the faint of heart. It's definitely bacon and bacon grease and potatoes and eggs but boy do you have a lot of energy afterwards another thing too to be careful is not to get too much in the pan uh, I've kind of made it a little on the I might have could add a little more uh, some more uh, hash browns to it but I'm gonna think and then might have to add a little heat I think I will. I think I'll just add just a touch more in here. There we go. The reason you don't want the bacon totally cooked is so it can still render out a little bit of the, the bacon grease to fry your potatoes up. You helping me, buddy? Gonna be the taste tester?
So we've got the hash browns mixed in with the bacon and they're, and they're cooked. You're starting to get a little brown on them. So now I'll add the eggs. So I'll do that. Create a little area for them. Now another option with adding the eggs is you can actually add them, break the yolks and stir it in, or even prepare a little uh, like scrambled egg mixture where you have your eggs, maybe a little cream mixed up, dump it over and stir it in. But we're going to do what's going to come out to kind of a poached effect. So I'm going to add water to create some steam in here. And we're going to let that set and just let that cook there. Sometimes you got to add a little heat. I don't have that. But you've got several possibilities of how to add your eggs, depending on how you like them. We kind of like ours a little soft and runny. After a couple minutes, you'll see that we've kind of got them in a poached thing. You can add a little salt and pepper. Got a little bit of little, too much liquid maybe in there, but it'll cook off. And a little pepper. And I'm going to let this go just a minute more. Opened up. Get rid of some of the liquid. But and I'm going to just give it another second. And that's the thing, be careful not to take it off too many times so you don't get that steam build up to cook the top of the eggs. And there you have it, two eggs over a bed of hash browns and bacon bits. And we have one skillet to clean. And of course my favorite thing, my dome, which you can usually just wipe out because it's just moisture. If you were a single camper, you could make that in the, the skillet. And just set the skillet on the table and never even dirty your plate. So, so there you go. There's our uh, one skillet breakfast for this for this week. Hope you enjoyed.